most motorists would prefer a more luxurious car. This is more or less the case for all items that someone can buy. People generally prefer goods that are more exclusive, look better, or give them higher status. Automotive marketers identified this desire a long time ago and introduced the brands and models we call aspirational. Premium car brands are the answer to this desire for motorists to drive a more exclusive machine. This started with some iconic manufacturers that still exist, such as Mercedes-Benz, Rolls-Royce, and Bentley. Others that have disappeared. Horsch, 1899-1940. Napier. 1900 to 1924, LaSalle, 1927 to 1940, Stutz, 1911 to 1937, and Isata Frusini, 1900 to 1948. The long race to premium one strategy to move upmarket is for an automaker to have a dedicated division for premium models. Audi, Alfa Romeo, Cadillac. Lincoln, and, more recently, Lexus, Acura, Infiniti, and Genesis, find themselves occupying this role as the option for customers looking for a bit more luxury. The formula is often simple. An automaker develops a common platform. Then, the company uses the underpinnings to create several vehicles for different audiences. A price gap between the products means that people pay more for the product from the more exclusive mark. The more expensive models generally offer more advanced tech, better quality materials, and additional powertrain options, too. 11 examples of price differences to understand the price gap between a premium and a mainstream car. I looked at 11 car models belonging to the same automotive corporation and segment with similar engines and similar equipment. Here are the results. 1. Alfa Romeo Stevio vs. Maserati Grecale in Italy. The 300 HP Maserati Grecale GT is 5% more expensive than the 280 HP Alfa Romeo Stevio Veloce. It is the second lowest price gap of all the examples. With a retail price difference of 3, 322 euros, wouldn't there be a cannibalization problem between the two? Two, Skoda Fabia versus Audi A1 in Germany. The Audi A1S line takes on the Skoda Fabia Monte Carlo. Both models have 95 horsepower and are the top of the line trim. The result is that the Audi costs 8% more, or 1, 750 euros. Would you pay this amount to upgrade from a Skoda to an Audi? 3. Hyundai Grandeur vs. Genesis G80 in South Korea. The Hyundai has a 290 HP engine in the calligraphy trim. Ford Expedition vs. Lincoln Navigator in the United States. These two have the highest price gap with the Lincoln in black label trim 40% more expensive than the Ford in the Timberline grade. 5. Toyota Venza vs. Lexus NX in the U.S. A consumer can buy the gasoline-powered Venza Limited with 219 horsepower for $40, 253. If a buyer wants the premium model, the Lexus NX250 Luxury with 203 horsepower costs $45, 700. This is an increase of 14%. 6. The Touareg RPHEV with 462 horsepower is available for 90, 995 euros. The Porsche Cayenne Platinum PHEV with the same power as 102, 901 euros. 8. The XT6 Premium Luxury is 13% more expensive than the Enclave Premium, which is 6% more expensive than the Traverse Premier. 10. The VW is 8% more than the Skoda Octavia Active. 11.
Opel Mocha E versus DS3E tents in Italy. The price gap is also in the electric segment. The DS3 Sochik with 136 horsepower is 39, 880 euros before incentives. Thanks for watching. Credits to www.motor1.com and Spide Build LLC. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.